Dupree Gray, pilots of the Matt Wood Racing, Elbro Ford, and Doss. Number 17W on the board is Shane Golovin. To the outside of Golovin, young 16-year-old looking for his first ever Placerville Speedway win. He's been very impressive so far in the early season out of Reading. Michael Murphy, Michael Murphy. Victory Motorsports, two outs in, it's Max Victory. Golovic, Victory, row one. Row two to the inside, he's going to be tough to beat here this season. Sanders. To the outside of Sanders from Templeton. This season driving the FNF Racing. Bushy Financial Services X1. It is Caleb Montgomery. Third row to the inside of Sebastian. Third to a racing. It's 15 year old Jordan Myers Jr. To his outside, always a favorite. He'll pass about five times in his career. Starting six for the Tanner, Carrick, Fourth row to the inside, a little bit of a reunion here tonight. Combination back together. Five of the left row. for seven seniors, Tony Jones. To his outside, from Clarksburg, the Miracle Redwood, third one C, we find Justin Cox. Fifth row to the inside, driver out of Roseville. Number four for Roseville Precision. It'll be Jody Robinson. Her outside from Jacksonville, Florida, with the 18T, will be Tanner Holmes. Sixth row to the inside, you saw him with the P-Name, we're going to see him out of Placerville. Third to three, he is Jimmy Drury. To the inside, he finished second last week from Yuba City in the 34. It's Landon Brooks to his outside from the board. Final row to the inside out of Fair Oaks. To his outside, 94 from El Grove is Bubba to Garrett. Here is the 19th time in the
funny though, because my room is also watching on the road. Well, $2,000 to win this one in honor of Al Hines, the second ever promoter of Placerville Speedway. 19th time that we paid tribute to Al here in Old Hangtown. Should be a good one coming up for 25 laps. Shane Golubic, Max Mitry. We talked about it earlier. Mitry has been knocking on the door of Victory Lane. Could tonight be the night for the 16-year-old? We're going to find out. Justin Sanders inside row two. He's going to be a tough customer to beat with Paul Silva on the wrenches and that Kevin Kozlowski owned entry. Kayla Montgomery to his outside as we go lights out. Well, Placerville Speedway, are we excited? 19th tribute to Al Hines. It's about to go down in Old Hangtown. 25 minutes. One more time, we'll try it again. Shane Golovic and Max Mitry. 25 laps, 19th annual tribute to Al Hines in the Anorak Fire Off Zone. See it on Flow Racing, the 24 of Alberta's Justin Henry bringing out the caution here on lap number eight. Well, up front in the 17W, Shane Golovic with eight laps down over Justin Sanders. Those two exchanged the top spot a couple times. Here's a Flow Racing replay over in turn number four. And that looks like Justin Henry just got way over the edge, brings it to a stop. Up front, it's Golovic, Sanders, Tanner, Carrick, Justin Cox, Caleb Montgomery in the top five. Joel Myers, Jr., sixth. Andy Forsberg, seventh. Mitchery, Gomes, and Holmes in your top ten. Shane Gol Two seasons ago, he picked up big victories at the NorCal Posse Shootout and the tribute to Matt Tyner. One year before that is when he beat the Royal Outlaws here. Nine career, made the three seasons for victories for the Take a look on our all-time win list. That puts him. We'll check that. Ten wins now, tied with Justin Cox. One more victory for Golovic to tie him with Kyle Hurst for 17 on the all-time list. Well, Shane Golovic chooses the inside lane for this double-file restart. 
start. And man, you talk about two guys with just true, raw, natural talent behind the wheel of a race car, Shane Golovic and Justin Sanders. This is gonna be fun. Two potent cars up there on the front row. Tanner Carrick, Justin Cox in row two. Eight laps down, 17 to go. Double file restart coming up in the Anorak fire off zone. Lights out, pace Jeep to the infield. Golovic will start the race once he reaches that first yellow pylon over there. Jacksonville, Oregon's Tanner Holmes, upside down at one and two. You see the Placerville safety crew over there on the scene. Well, it looks like they're going to try and get the car back on all fours. They did say that he was alert at talking, so that's the good news down there. Now the car back on all fours. Down here, one or two chair humps is okay. Doing a quick walk by of his, or looks like all these top wing damage. Looks like it's able to roll. No front end damage, no rear end damage that we can see. No some damage to Holmes' car. Quick trip to work here, and he may just be able to restart this one with that gap. Jay just saw a couple more replays there. Nice to have the YouTube kid, Tanner Holmes, here. 53,000 plus subscribers on his YouTube channel. I'm sure there's a few of them out there in the grandstands and on Flow Racing as that car rolls away. Tanner was another one of the cars that we gained tonight due to the wind out down at Colorado Speedway as the yellow lights come back on the track. Roger Crock and amongst others. So kind of neat to see. 
to make a rare appearance here at Monsterville Speed would be right moved up front with Justin Sanders who was victorious here just a week ago, or two weeks ago, excuse me. Well, once again, Golovic juicing the inside lane. That'll put Sanders to his outside. Tanner Garrett, Justin Cox there slotted in row number two. Justin Sanders outside the front row for this double file restart. 17 career victories. That's 11th all time in wing 360 wins at Placerville Speedway. Lights out. Ace Jeep to the infield. Nine down, 16 to go. This one's going to be exciting. Golovic once again as the leader. He'll set the pace in the Anrag fire off zone. Sanders has a nice line up top at one and two, but he almost has to hit it perfectly to get that launch that he wants. We'll see what he can do here on this upcoming double file restart. As we said, over here, Shane Golovic, one of the smoothest drivers, comes to work with the Golovic. Justin Henry also in the Coors Light work area, but that was his second stop, so his night is over. See the crew up there working diligently to try and get Justin Cox back out there. Looked like little Rod was running pretty quick. Looks 
like the crew was able to get that right rear unpacked. And Justin Cox rolls back out. Eight laps to go. Who's going to win this one? Shane Golovic sets the pace. Justin Sanders trying to stay right there with him. And here he comes, rolling down the hill. Race fans, Justin Sanders, the four-time winner now in the tribute to Al Hines. He's done it in three different cars. He's got the belts off. He gets the congratulatory high fives from his crew. He's got the helmet off. He's climbing up. Make some noise for your now four-time tribute to Al Hines winner, Justin Sanders. Justin, I'd like to invite you to my tropical flow racing victory lane here. He goes. 
goes back to back. He's now a four-time tribute to Al Hines. Feature event winner Justin. A heck of a move there on that last restart. Talk to us about your game plan going in there. You and Shane had such a good battle. Was it just time running out? You knew you had to go? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, that was a little dirtier than I wanted it to be, you know, to make that pass. But uh, he's probably not happy with me, and I probably wouldn't be either. But uh, I had to get going. I had to make a pass. I had to get the lead and make clean laps and almost gave it away for two corners uh, right there. And then... Uh, Got a rock underneath the brake pedal. I couldn't hit the brakes very good, so made it a little uh, tough. But no, uh, you know, I gotta thank these guys again, Paul Silva, uh, Kevin, everybody that, uh, Kevin Bush, uh, Aiden, uh, everybody that helped us, you know, like the work from the back, and then Chris Hyde coming in. We've definitely had a kind of a really good weekend with these guys, and I think they can't pick them up. And uh, I said, I'm happy to get this win, but let's see what's going on. So I'll just leave it that way. See you guys on that. Reacclimate to different guys working on it, different engine combos, different shot combos? Uh, no, because I got, you know, three really good cars with three really good guys working on them and, you know, guys that maintain and set up and everything. So it makes my job a lot easier. You know, I got my seats pretty close where I want them and, you know, steering wheel fill and everything and then, you know, kind of just uh, uh, let Paul do his job and, you know, me and Dell work together pretty good here uh, on uh, on Saturday night. So uh, hope to keep uh, picking off the wins and uh, just, I don't know, just keep rolling. Tonight's feature event winner, Justin Sanders. Make his way up here to float.